Hey, 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 family, it's your girl, Evelyn, and I am back with another video. So listen, you can see from the thumbnail, I participated in the Sephora VIB sale. By the time this video goes up, the sale may be over because y'all know I'll be late with the videos. I got, a, I, got a, I got a beauty haul for my birthday in January that I haven't even posted, but it, listen, it's neither here nor there. Okay, listen, so... I, you know this i'm not i'm not new to the sale okay i am rouge so i was able to get 20 percent off but let me tell you i had told myself last year uh, for the fall sales event i said when the sale comes back around i'm i'm gonna go ham i'm gonna i'm gonna get a lot of things that i've wanted to get i'm going to set a significant budget aside to do that and so i want to share with you what i bought it is all in here um, a couple of these things are not from Sephora, so I, I will go ahead and get those out of the way. Um, this is my first order. I have a second order coming, and I'll just tell you what's in that because I just ordered um, two things from there. But I, I, I might place a third order because there's just a couple of things I wanted to get. But let me just share with you quickly the things that I didn't get from Sephora but still fall into like beauty. Um, this is my favorite toner. This is the Heritage Store Rose Water um, Toner. I've probably been using this for seven or eight years. I get this off of Amazon, but I saw it in Ulta. So I picked up two bottles of this um, just because I was running out. And so I love that. My oily skin loves that. And then also, um, maybe about a week before the sale started, I picked up the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in medium deep in the press. So, um, Emily Noel, huge YouTuber, um, my girl, Patricia put me onto her about a year ago and I really enjoy her content. She does a lot of drugstore and I'm not really into drugstore makeup, but I still really, I just love makeup in general. So I love her videos, but she, um, is the one who mentioned that Laura Mercier has her famous setting powder in a pressed and i use the medium deep um just because i'm pretty sure i could use the translucent but i prefer the medium deep this was so hard to find i actually ended uh, i couldn't get it through sephora i ended up going in store to nordstrom to get it but this is great for travel because i have traveled with the loose powder from um, Lord Mercy and while it's fine it's bulky and so I thought this is a lot less fussy so definitely want to have that and then I think Patricia just did a video and talking about how she has it but in the translucent and she keeps it in her purse and I was like so I need another one for my first no I don't need another one for my purse I'm just going to <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with this one so okay so those are the things that did not come from Sephora now Let's get into it. So first, I'm just going to do kind of like body and skin care. Um, so I picked up, and this is huge. This is the Coors. I think that's how you pronounce it. Or Coors Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. This is the jumbo size, okay? I picked up two of these. I got this in a sample maybe two, two and a half years ago. And it's my favorite morning cleanser. So I do wash my face twice a day. Um, and I, you know, I wash it when I wake up, but because I just washed it the night before, I don't need something super stringent or, you know, like it's going to pull all the things. So this is a super gentle cleanser. And so I picked up two of these. Okay. I also picked up now y'all, let me tell you about Sephora. The customer service is great, but let me tell you, I, I have, I have oily facial skin, but my body skin has a tendency to be unusually dry. And so I really realized that I prefer shower oils over shower gels, right? Obviously bar soap is, is, is a absolutely not. And so I have been using, or I had had some like deluxe samples of the L'Occitane or a L'Occitane or L'Occitane um, shower oil. However, these came spilled all over my Sephora order. So I put the remaining of what was left in this one. I actually ordered two of these, but it spilled all over the box. Y'all, because it has one of these pop-up caps. Y'all, they did not tap take the uh, top clothes, but I called Sephora and they are going to replace um, these for me because, listen, but I saw so two of these, but it spilled all over. But I love this. Like, if you love an almond scent, 
And it does lather, but it's a shower oil. And I, I've tried the shower oil from Trader Joe's because I know somebody might say, you know, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's has a great shower oil. Baby, it's not the same. Okay, it's not the same. Um, On that vein, I also ordered two of the Glow Recipe a Pink um, Juice Moisturizers. I really, really love that, particularly for the summertime here in Texas. I need something lightweight on the skin that's going to keep me moisturized, but it's not going to be like greasy and heavy because when it hits like 110, baby, who about to be having a cream on their face, okay? And then with that, I also ordered two of the Kapari um, coconut shower oils. Now, I have not tried that, but when I saw that they're a clean brand and they had a shower oil, I was like, boop, let me run this 20% and get to those. So those, those are on the way, but I didn't want to wait on this haul just for those two things. Now I will say, and we can talk about it in the video, I got a couple of things in my cart that I'm considering, but let's continue on. So let's get into the makeup that I, oh, let's, yeah, let's get into the makeup that I ordered. So First two things is I picked up some new concealers. So my favorite concealer, um, I, I, y'all, I'm sorry, I thought the camera was blurry, but my favorite concealer is the Pat McGrath concealer. However, I ordered, I think last year, the Dior Forever Skin Crack Concealer. And while I enjoyed it, the shade I ordered was too dark, actually. And so it works great over the face, but it's too dark as a concealer. So I ordered one and a half shades up. I ordered the uh, Forever Skin Correct in 6.5 in neutral because I'm neutral undertone, slightly warm. And so I have this on today. I have this on today and I really love it. I already knew I love the formula. I just wanted the right color. And then I also ordered the uh, LYS triple fix full coverage brightening concealer i will say this full coverage it is not it is a great light concealer um and i guess i can show you the boxes on these so this is um this is the dior concealer if you're not familiar with that that's the dior concealer um i will say that the lys why i enjoy it i have it mixed in with the dior today it is <laughs> what is not as full coverage. But to my point about the summertime in Texas, I don't necessarily want something that's super thick, super full coverage. So this is the LYS and that traditional triangle packaging. And I will say this, let me open this up for you. It's got, it's like a really tight top. Um, you know, it's got the doe foot, but it's really hard to get back in. And so because of that, I probably won't purchase it again because with, I, like, I'm dark skin. This is very chocolate. I, if this splatters, I'm just, I, I don't love the packaging design, but I do like the product, but it's not full coverage. So if you have darkness under your eyes like I do, it's not going to fully cover that. It's going to minimize it, but it I, I would not consider this full coverage, okay? Not that this was meant to be reviews, because I don't do reviews, but I'm just, I'm just sharing with you what I have purchased, okay? I also picked up so unnecessarily the gucci mattifying primer so i currently use uh rimmel stay matte uh primer which i have used for years and i also use the pacifica cherry matte primer i have tried and i love the bobby brown vitamin rich face base but because i have oily skin i don't i like that in the winter time i don't necessarily like that in the summertime Here's the thing. I have been looking for matte primers. So I've tried Urban Decay's uh, All Nighter Primer. I've tried the Hourglass Primer. I, I was like, I want something that's a little bit more luxe, but that is matte. So I have not tried this yet, but I want to show you what it looks like. It comes in this beautiful frosted glass bottle. Um, it does have a pump. The pump is good. Like, it's pretty, okay? Um, so we're gonna see how it holds up with my oily skin. But I picked that up. Um, just, I want, I just want, I just wanted something a little bit nicer. I have oily skin, so I'm not a huge fan of like dewy face products. I'm not a fan of like cream, cheek products. If it says cream on the face and it's not like a foundation, I, I'm probably, I'm probably not gonna do it, right? However, I saw these Danessa Myricks Dewy Cheek and Lip Palettes, and I'm in a season where I'm really enjoying mixing and cocktailing my lip colors. I already cocktail 
my concealers, I cocktail my powders, I cocktail even like my mascara combos. And a lot of times I'll even cocktail my foundations. I'm not cocktail today, I'm wearing Lisa Eldridge today. But I was like, I really wanna do that with lip colors, but I don't always wanna use a liner to get the kind of color that I want. And I don't necessarily always want to use a gloss because sometimes when you mix the gloss in with the lipstick, it just gets a mess. So when I saw these, I was like, ooh, I saw the reviews on it and people were like, they're actually really good on the lips. So let me show you what it what they look like. I'm gonna open these up. I've only swatched one color because I was waiting to do this video. And, um, but now that I, now that it's recorded, it's about to be on the face. I will say the one color that I did swatch, I even put it on the cheeks. It's beautiful. And if I, if I ever lose my mind and think I can wear a creamy product on the cheeks, then that's what I'll do. So here are the two. Let me see. Can you see that? There we go. Okay. So you have one that's kind of more peachy pink in color some warm some kind of nude cool and then you also have this one okay and as y'all can tell i love a good neutral so um i i like i i let me open this up i i swatched i don't want to get my finger in it i swatched this as you can see but i just thought that this would these would be great let me open up the other one so you can get a better view of it um Oh, there we go. I just thought that these, look look how pretty that is. And like sheared out on the lips. So pretty. So I picked those up. Now, I will say this. I am not a person who likes to stick my finger in her lip products. So what did that mean? <laughs> that I had to buy a lip brush, okay? And because I'm extra, what did I do? I bought two, okay? Because I didn't want to have to like clean the lip brush off every single time. So... I picked up the Sephora Collection lip brush. This is number 85. And um, and the reason why I got the Sephora Collection lip brush is because I really like Sephora Collection brushes. And also during the VIB sale, everything Sephora Collection is 30% off. So even if you're not rouge, like it's 30% off. So I picked up the Sephora Collection lip brush. I'll spare you the like crinkling sound of me opening that. But then I also picked up just cause I wanted something even more pretty because like makeup is like a, such a fun hobby to me that I like I just want to indulge I picked up oops, the plastic is coming off I picked up the Patrick Ta lip brush and this is gorgeous do y'all see this look at this oh my gosh it's so pretty so I picked up two lip brushes so I could mix and cocktail my lip products to my little heart's content so I picked those two things up okay now, let's continue on with Danessa Myrick. So, that was my first product from her, but then she also came out with these multi chrome eyeliners. I wasn't going to get them because I as you can see, I love a neutral beat. Like that is probably this is like my signature look. Like if I had a signature look, this would be it. When I don't know what to do, I'm giving this. Like it's a little bit more amped up today cuz I'm recording some videos for my business, but like this is this is Evelyn's face, okay? But every now and then, you know, I like to get a little spicy, I like to add just a little a little something. And so I picked up three of her multi-chrome sticks. And so I don't know if you'll be able to see those, but that's, so that's kind of the colors. I'm thinking for like right under the waterline or maybe just, you know, a cute little colorful eyeliner. Y'all, these are well packaged. I have not opened these up. Um, let me see. Right, let's open up the, let's open up the bronze one because that one is probably one that I can probably wear, that I probably will wear more often than the other two. And so they're dual chrome. So they're not just like colorful um, eyeliners. They're like multi-chrome. So let's open this up. And so these are my... Oh, Y'all, look look at the pencil. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, my. Oh, and they're retractable. Oh, oh I love that. Okay, so let's do a little swatchy swatch. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can... You probably can't see that. Oh, it it's it changes colors anyway this one yeah i knew that this one in particular was one that i could wear like with this kind of look but 
picked that up, picked three of those up. I told you I went ham because y'all, this basket is still halfway full. Okay. So, Danessa Myricks on the eyes, Danessa Myricks on the leaks, lips and the cheeks. Also, let's get into, I picked up some mascaras because I have been on a hunt for a good mascara and I wanted to try Pat McGrath's Dark Star Mascara, but I missed her sale, y'all. So I was like, I'm gonna have to wait. But I have heard amazing things from several YouTubers about this Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water um, mascara. Now, full disclosure, my lashes are very curly. So when people talk about mascaras holding the curl or, you know, lifting their lashes, I actually have to back comb my lashes sometimes because they're so curly. I know, like, first world problems. But if I've seen what it's done for people with very straight lashes, and I was like, if that's what it's doing with people with very straight lashes, it's probably going to do amazing things on my little curl lashes, right? And I, since I am not a lash wearer, like a false lash wearer, I am a, you know, a mascara and primer, like eye, eyelash primer person, okay? So I wanted to try this mascara. Um, I was going to try the MAC Stack Mascara. I just don't like rubble, rubber bristle mascaras. So I also picked up, because um, I've heard great things about this, is the It Cosmetics Superhero Hero Mascara. So between these two, and you'll see from the samples that I have, I have plenty of mascaras. What I'm wearing today is the... Um, Estee Lauder Little Black Lash Primer. And then this is the NARS Climax Extreme. Like I have a sample and it's giving, okay? It may not come through on camera, but but it's giving, okay? So that's what I have on my upper lashes. I think I have like a drugstore, I can't remember on the lower lashes, but I'm excited to try the Kelly Ray, Kelly Ray Come Hell or High Water and also the It Cosmetic Superhero. Now, I also picked up, y'all, this basket is still going. Okay, I also picked up this Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder because I have heard so many things. And I went into Sephora the day before the VIB sale started and I swatched this. Baby, I, you know, modest packaging, okay? So you can see that modest packaging. However, it is the perfect neutral brown. It is literally the color of my skin. It is, look at this. It has, I've already swatched it. I don't know if you can see that. I've already kind of swatched this one. Um, I don't want to say it has sparkling. It has like the slightest little something in there, but just as a dusting over the skin. I know that I have oily skin, but I, I have seen this on people and I was like, it needs to be in my collection because right now I just used the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm still using like Mac studio fix foundation powder as my finishing powder It's too much, right? Like that's like foundation on top of foundation. So I wanted to try this. This is going to be, I already know this is going to be a fave. Okay. Y'all let's keep going. Okay. It's, there's so much. So like I told you, I have dry body skin. So I had seen, um, this, 54 Thrones Body Butter. And so um, I wanted to get the sample pack. This has Kenya, so the scents are Kenyan, Kenyan Hibiscus plus Moroccan Rose. That's one scent. Another one is Ugandan Vanilla and Ethiopian Honey. And another one is Egyptian Lavender and Moroccan Mint. So you know, I was like, I have to try this. And so I think these are in actual like butter stick forms. I can't remember. Or maybe they're in tubes. Um, but I wanted to, before I committed to a full size, I wanted to get the sample um, set. So I picked this up and I believe this is a black owned brand. So let me, let's open one, shall we? This is the, yeah, African Beauty Rituals, 54 Thrones. This one is the Ugandan Vanilla and Ethiopian Honey. First of all, the, the descriptions just got me. Okay, this is in a tube. So definitely wanted to try this. If y'all know me in real life, I have a hand cream problem. Like I keep hand creams. I keep, I have a whole little container of just hand lotions. And even though this is like, I want to try this on the body, probably will end up in my bag. So 
Um, let's just smell this while we're here. I know this is not a review, but let's just smell this. Oh, I don't want to open it yet because, I, like I said, I have I have so many. Because I bought some um, body oils and um, body butters from this uh, company called Silk and Noir, and I love them. I should have brought those in here, but I bought those like I don't know a month or so ago. Okay, let's keep going. Now I also have um, picked up. Like I said, the Sephora collection was, is 30% off during the sale. So I picked up this lip liner, this gel lip liner, and this is in the color, what's the color? It's a brown, molasses, oh, okay. So I, I here's, the, here's the challenge I have with brown lip liners, is either they're too dark and they look black to work on my skin tone, or they're too light and they don't line, or they're too red and you know and I don't always want a red base brown I like I said I have neutral undertones so I'm gonna try and see if this works but I got this I'm excited about that and then a lot of times y'all like I have on liquid eyeliner today um and I'm gonna show you I bought another liquid eyeliner because I don't the one I have on is Milani and I just I don't like the dry down like let me let me say this it wears beautifully I just don't like the finish it's like it's overly matte it's almost like chalky anyway but uh, i've been loving more so lately smudgy liners and so i picked up these um sephora shadow and liner um sticks if you will and it's just a chubby stick i picked up the, a black one and a dark brown one that you can just put on smudge it out if you want a thick liner or if you kind of want like a smoky smudge liner you know i definitely love like a, a brown smudgy liner for daytime on me like i think it just looks like effortless right but if i want a black smoky liner um and i want it to be easy i'm, I'm just gonna draw this on smudge it out with a smudge brush on my upper or lower lash lines and it's a party again 30 percent off Okay, we're getting to, towards the end. So I also picked up, I wanted to try the Fenty um, primer, the matte primer. I, let me say this about Fenty. Fenty is one of those brands where I really want to find something that I like. Because everybody seems to love Fenty. And so far, I have not found anything that I like. Um, I've tried their foundation, I, multiple shades. I look like a Oompa Loompa. It's too warm. Um, I, even with all of the beautiful shades that they have, right? Um, I've tried the gloss balm too thick for my personal taste, right? I, um, I have their loose powder as oily as I am. It is drying. <laughs> so, and I mean, I use that powder only for like touch-ups. Like I've been out sweating and like, and so it's lasted me like two years. Um, I've not heard great things about their eyeshadow. I've tried their, you know, uh, matte liquid lipstick, like in the glass tube. It's okay to me. And so I really, I really, I really want to support Rihanna. Um, I just haven't really found things I like. And I'm not going to do the cream blushes and bronzer. It's just because I don't like cream. And I don't wear highlights. So we're going to try this matte filter. So I got a small size because I did get the Gucci. So I picked this up. And I was like, I want to try this. This will probably be great for travel. I hope that I like this, y'all. I hope. I didn't like her first primer um, that she came out with because it wasn't mattifying. And I, Evelyn needs a mattifying primer. Okay, but I picked that up. And I also picked up her, uh, they had a little kit that has her um, eyeliner and eye primer. So I was like, okay. Maybe I don't really use eye primer, but since it came in a kit, I was like, "Ooh, I can try the eyeliner and I can try the eye primer." So I have three products from Fenty that I'm hoping that I will enjoy. Um, you know, her skincare line doesn't really appeal to me. So you know, y'all, I just you know, like I said, like I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying I haven't found anything that I like, and people seem oops, people seem to stand for the brand. Okay. Now, we all of that, okay, that's all that I bought, but then I also received some samples because I had like a gazillion points. So I picked up, I already took this out the package. This is the Necessaire Body um, Wash. It's metal. Like, 
And it's got a eucalyptus, almost like a eucalyptus mint scent. Um, so I'm going to try it. It's only like halfway full though, which is hilarious to me. But I do like this. I mean, if nothing else, this would be great for travel. I also picked up with my points, the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. So while I do have the coarse face wash for the morning, I am looking for a face wash that I enjoy at nighttime when I take my makeup off. I mean, I don't wear makeup every day, but even just wanting to wash off the day, I when I do wear makeup, I use a cleansing balm plus a cleanser. And I've just been going through a variety of cleansers and they're fine. I just haven't found anything that I love. So I was like, ooh, I wanna try this and see if I like it. Oh, is it not gonna focus? I don't think it's gonna focus. All right, well, we tried. Okay, so this is the Checks and Balances from Orders Frothy Frothy Face Wash. So I'm going to try that. Also, this is why I said I don't need any more mascara because I also picked up the Monster Big um, Mascara from Lancome. I believe that I've tried this several years ago. And let me tell you, if, if, if this is what I had a couple of years ago, maybe like five years ago, I had a sample of this. Every time I wore it, people thought I had on false lashes. And this was with no primer. This was with no primer. So I picked this up. And then also I picked up the Bite Beauty Upswing Full Volume Mascara. So y'all, let me tell you right now. In my mascara drawer, I have Too Faced Better Than Sex. That's in a full tube. I've got a drugstore full size. I can't remember what the name of it is. I've got a sample of NARS Climax. I've got a sample of Tom Ford. And I've got a sample of Chanel. Now I got Bite Beauty and Monsieur Big. And I've got Calorie Come Hell or High Water and It Cosmetics. I am good. So even if I wanted to try Pat McGrath's Dark Star or Max Stax, it's not happening for like six or seven months. Because... <laughs> Because I have so much mascara. Um, but I don't wear I don't wear false lashes. Okay. And then obviously a couple of scents. Um, I always like to grab scents are my preferred samples, just because I'm not about to use skincare out of a packet. I don't know why I'm like that. I got a whole stack of stuff that I probably need to give to like a women's shelter. But I picked the YSL Libra. I think Libre. I think I've smelled this before. I really like this. This is a very popular scent. I also picked up the Replica Autumn Vibes. Let me tell you, I'm, I haven't smelled this yet, okay? Um, but while I'm not a fan of having a whole bunch of, <clears throat> I'm not a fan of having a whole bunch of like a little bitty perfume samples, but it is a great way for me to be able to wear a fragrance more than once, you know, see how long it lasts, you know, see how I feel about it, what the dry down is like throughout the day versus just going and smelling in store. And because I'm just now getting into fragrance um, in this stage of my life, um, I'm learning what I like. So far, I like warm florals and I like fruity florals. I do not like vanilla. Uh, or like sweet gourmand scents. I don't like that. I don't like powdery scents. Um, and I don't like like crisp linen ocean water scents. I don't. So I've always known about me that if a perfume typically is like red or pink, I'm probably going to like it. If it's like blue or green, I'm probably not going to like it. Um, and, and then if it's like white and silver, I'm probably not going to like it. Right. So because I don't like straight florals. So um, pick that up. And here's the thing when it comes to me in fragrance. When I got diagnosed with cancer in 2016, um, you know, I had to change out all of my body products. Everything had to be non-toxic and, you know, not to burst anybody's bubble. But perfumes have been known to really, really affect your hormones, which can affect, you know, various cancers and things like that. So not that I was a huge fragrance wearer before then, but I definitely eliminated like all of my fragrances so i'm just now getting back into it and learning what i like so uh leave your suggestions for warm florals and fruity florals down below i while designers are fine i would love to get into more niche fragrance houses i do have like obviously I have baccarat rouge um i have gucci flora um, and some other things, but I like warm florals or fruity florals. Okay. Or maybe fruity scents, less citrus, but more fruity. 
anyway, uh, let me know, are you enjoying the beauty content? Did you participate in the sale? And if I do decide to pull the trigger on that last cart that I have sitting, because you can see y'all, your girl went in. Okay, your girl went in. If I do pull the trigger, I will come back and share with you. But it's pretty much all fragrance. So, <laughs> figure, you know what I'm saying? Get a little 20% get a little twenty off, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. This video has been long enough. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back more consistently with videos. But I wanted to share. Okay.